In our last video of this series, we started making of 3D stages in SketchUp Web, which is totally free. In this video, we will look at more drawing tools and applying materials on them. Let's start where we were last time. Let's double click the stage component and get inside it. We are going to modify inside this component. Let's press L to select line tool. Let's click on one edge and type in 20 feet. You see, there is a green point which is a mark that marks the 20 feet from here which is the middle point of the stage now let's select circle with pressing c let's click at this point and start making a circle keeping it in the center after clicking let's type 12 feet so we will have a circle which has 12 feet in radius let's press p for push pull let's select this face click it here and drag until let's try to snap it to the bottom of this stage you see this is snapping at the bottom means this is gonna take the depth measurement from the stage height now let's erase the lines we won't need to do that press e to select the eraser tool and erase this line now let's make the edge of the stage a bit rounded a quick way to do that is hitting r and selecting rectangle let's start drawing from this edge let's try it four feet comma four feet let's hit enter this is gonna make a four feet by four feet rectangle in this area now let's press spacebar to select the selection tool let's double click this rectangle to select this rectangle with the edge let's hit ctrl c to copy this let's zoom out let's hit o for orbit tool so that we can rotate let's hit ctrl v to paste it somewhere outside in the model let's hit o to orbit and take a better look at the model let's press m to select the move tool let's click on this edge and let's click on this edge so this point snaps or we could do another rectangle here the habit of this kind of copy paste is gonna get you smarter and faster in sketchup web now let's select the arc tool or press a now let's click on this point and this point let's move the mouse across this area let's leave it here let's hit space to select the selection tool let's zoom out a little bit let's select this surface let's hit p to select the push pull let's pull this area down to this part you see when it reaches at the end this tends to vanish like this awesome let's hit e to get the eraser tool let's remove these edges looks good right so let's do the same thing for this part now another important sketchup matter we will learn in this video is called materials materials are colors textures or images that are laid on the body of models fill you can find the materials on this part of the workspace let's open materials we have few colors here we can choose let's double click the model we want to work with to get inside the component now let's triple click to select the whole model as i said in this part we have few colors and in this part we browse for materials let's look for some wood textures let's unfold woods let's say we like this once we select this texture our mouse is gonna turn as a paint bucket now we have the whole stage selected now we're gonna click the whole stage to get it painted voila it's that easy but let's say we want to have some other texture for the face part what we do is we hit space for selecting the selection tool and click anywhere to deselect the model remember we are inside the component with nothing selected let's select the second texture we want to use for the face part maybe this one you see our mouse cursor has turned into another paint bucket so let's click on these faces to paint them let's hit o for orbit let's turn around our stage and apply this material here let's hit b for paint bucket and let's paint these faces let's hit o for orbit again to turn around let's hit b for paint bucket now we have a stage where we have put some materials let's say we want to pick the color from the stage top and paste it on the stair tops as well let's double click and get inside the component of the stair let's not select any surface let's hit b to select the paint bucket let's hold alt and click on this surface to pick the material let's press the material on the tops of the stairs let's hit space and let's double click anywhere to get out of the component 
Now we will learn one essential thing that is importing image to your model. To do that we will get inside the component we want to modify. Let's select the face where we want to import the texture. Let's click this menu bar and select import, import from my device. Let's select some file from my device. Now we have two options to import as. We can import it as an image or a material. Let's try to import it as a 2D material. So now this is asking me to set the start point of the image. Let's say the starting point of the image would be from here. Let's click here. Now wherever I move the mouse, this extends. Let's select some point that is going to be the end point. Now we have imported the image like this. This is a 2D image. We can hit M and move it around. This won't do anything. We don't need it here. Let's hit Ctrl Z for undo. Let's click on the face we want to affect. Now let's import the photo as a material. Now it's asking me again to set the starting point. I move my mouse along the across I want to paste. Let's say I want to paste it like this. I click this edge. So now my texture is painted. Let's hit B for getting the bucket tool. Let's hit Alt and click this to pick the material. Let's paste it here as well. You see the material is set to seamless right now. Let's hit undo to get rid of the textures because we're going to work with the stock materials for now. In our next video, we will learn to get ourselves more organized. Hit a like, maybe subscribe as well.